We now have a Patreon page. For as little as five dollars a month, you can make the biggest change and difference to keep the Adby Media channel alive. Good day to you all on this beautiful. Good afternoon. We'll go with good afternoon to you all on this lovely Thursday. Thursday, almost through the week again already. Whoop. It's going so quick, doesn't it? Okay, guys. So today, do you all know how I feel about builds of Pokemon? You install them, and inevitably, inevitably, most of the time, <laughs> a lot of the add-ons don't work. They're so cloggy, they're so full of crap that it's just not worth installing them. I've come across one that I've had a look at that I actually like the feel of. Most of it works. A couple of the things do not work, but the great majority of it worked. It was nice, light, and easy to use. As of today, the 1st of March, it's working. So if you're watching this in 12 months time and it's not working, find another video that I've done because I'm sure I would have done lots of other reviews by then. <laughs> but we're going to have a look at this build and you'll be the judge of it. We'll be back in a moment. Okay everyone, welcome. We're in Cody on a PC. Now, but what we're doing will work on your Android phone. It will work on an Android TV box. I have it actually installed on my TV box and it works wonderfully. And it will work on any Kodi device for you. Uh, let me know in the comments if you have any issues and I'll be happy to help you out with them. So this is a perfectly clean build of Kodi. So the first thing we want to do is go up to the settings top, up in the middle top there. And then we want to come down all the way down to the very bottom where it says file manager. You'll see that highlighted there. One click. Then we want to click on add source. Doesn't matter which side. And allow the add file source to come up. Now at the very top here, you want to enter the path of the media location. So the location of um, where we're going to get the media file from. So I'm just going to copy and paste because it's way too long to just explain to read it out for you. I'll have that down in the description so you'll be able to grab that without a problem. Now the name, that's way too long as well. So I'm just going to put a dot. Now a dot, what a dot does, that makes sure it's at the top of the list every single time. Um, so we're just going to put, I'm going to abbreviate it. So um, E... T U E W. Um, so that will do for the name of it and just go OK. So the dot would just mean it's always at the top, like I said, um, allowing you to see it at the, vi at the, the moment you're going. And now we go OK. And allow that connect to connect to the uh, the server and that's connected so as you can see it's at the top of our list there we go back we go back again and to back on a PC it's just escape or on your device you hit the back button wherever it's located now we go to add-ons which is the fourth from the top on the left hand side so one two three four add-ons then we want to go up to the box at the very top here. I'll just give me a minute. It looks like a just open box. It's on the left hand side at the very top. So one click. Okay, great. So we should be in the add on browser now. I'll just wait here a moment just in case that um, you're not here and you need a few minutes to come into here. Okay, great. So what we want to do now is we want to come down and we want to install from zip file. So that's the second from the bottom. So all the way down and make sure it's highlighted and click once on install from zip file. You're more than likely to see this message pop up if this is a new build of Cody. So simply click settings. That will come to the settings security menu and go to where it says unknown sources which is second from the bottom 
and one click on the option selection which is on the right hand side. It will come up telling you that the add-on is just allowed to be used and we just go yes. Right. At this point here we should see that cogged over and we just go back. So you use the escape key on a keyboard or the back function on your device. So again we go to install from zip file and right we can see the new add-on at the very top there. So we just click once on that. Fantastic. So we've only got one item in the list which makes it really easy for us. So we click, we make that blue and click. Now we just allow that to install. We'll see it come up in the top right hand corner when that's ready to install. Okay, so that's all ready to go now. Uh, it did pop up in the top corner there. Now let's go back to the main menu and oh, look straight away. We'll see that it's sitting there ready to go. Um, so let's click once on the wizard install. And let it do its thing. If clicking on it doesn't seem to work for you, simply use the keyboard um, or tap on the screen and that will help you. So that's downloading now. It's 115 meg, so it might take a little bit of time depending on your connection. Okay, so now it's finished downloading and it's extracting the files for us to get it ready to install. The downloading, like I said, will depend on just how quick your internet connection is. Um, and also, it does depend on a lot where the upload is coming from. So if you want more information on that, please let me know below and I'm happy to, do, to explain it to you. And that's um, getting to the end, which is great. Okay. Okay, so <laughs> just telling us that we need to close Cody and come back in. So after forcibly closing Cody, it's come back in. It's got a beautiful layout there. Um, okay, so the mouse isn't actually needed in this build of Cody which is fantastic so I'm not going to use it. It's just scanning movies using, it's just basically doing its first setup at the moment and straight away look guys the setup and the, the feel of this is just fantastic. Um, give it the time to do the work that it needs to do. Don't play with it while it's doing its setup or you, it's just not going to work the way you want it to. Um, so the best response you get out of this is obviously on your phone tablet. Um, I've now got this installed on my tablet, on my phone and on my TV media box. Um, so I get the best response out of this in all three three areas. Um, so I have to do a call out to the developer of this and um, his link will be down in the description as well who developed this build. So this initial setup can take a little bit of time but don't stress out. Just Just give it its time that it needs to get the best performance that you can get out of it. Um, so it's just flicking through a couple of the back movies because it's highlighted movies at the moment. So for us to actually have a look, I'm going to do what I just told you not to. So single click cinema, which is great. Look, it's one click. You don't have to pick sources. Um, so we go down with our keyboard and we've got Blu-ray. We've got um, DVD rips, which I don't really like too much, but Blu-ray 1080p which is great um, so and then again we come across and we've got IPTV um, so guide recordings um, like guys this, look, look at this this is fantastic the amount of content that's in here um, so we'll go to channels I always like to make my things as cards, not lists, but that's just me. <laughs> so go to guide and look at the guide. I mean, it's not telling us much there at the moment because it's still downloading all the information. Um, but look at the content that we've got there. That's just 
phenomenal, isn't it? This the amount of content. Uh, channel seven is an Australian channel, so let's just see if that comes up. It's a free to air. Look at that. Uh, just a crappy version of it at that point, but you're going to get that, all right? You're not going to get 100% channels, everything that you're going to. Let's have a look at the Golf Channel. Look at that. Very nice picture. I've now got it on the TV as well beside me, and that is a lovely, lovely picture. Again, this is all free, remember, guys, so it's probably not going to work all the time. So just keep that in mind. So you've got premium IPTV, movies, TV channels, um, anime, free Australian TV. So I'm just going to go into Australia free view because I'm an, one of the best that I've seen. It's got an adult section, but we won't look into that. Um, it's extremely powerful. Uh, give it a go. Tell me what you think. Um, most popular. We'll just have a look at one TV show. One TV. TV. What's a TV? One TV show. Um, so it's laid out there. We'll go Star Trek Discovery. Season 1. And I'm just going to pick an episode at random now. And it's still its thing. Just because you click on it once and nothing happens doesn't mean it's not going to do anything. Give it that little bit of time to do what it needs to do. So at this point here, what I absolutely love, it tells you what it's found in the certain um, areas. So at the moment it actually hasn't found anything in respect of this particular episode. Um, okay, we found one, and at the moment that it finds what you're looking for, so we've got a 721 there, and the moment it finds what you're looking for, you just hit cancel, and then you can go watch it. Um, particularly with stuff like Star Trek, I, I don't care that it, I'm going to go cancel, and I'm going to watch the 720 version, because I don't care that I'm not watching it in 1080p. So I'm going to pick Showbox. And off it goes and plays very quickly, very nice. And look, I haven't had any buffering. Um, okay, guys, as you can see, I've still got, I've got the rendering happening there. But as you can see, I've still got it playing there in the background. Um, and still, no buffering. And I'm, yeah, I'm using the mouse, which it doesn't recommend. Um, and I've got it happening on the computer, so it's got bits of crap popping up everywhere. Um, but that's all right. It's no buffering. It's one of the most beautiful builds that I've ever used. Again, if you're watching this in 12 months' time and it's not working, don't blame me, please. <laughs> um, but at this point in time, and it even gives you, at the top here, it even gives you, it's 1.01 p.m. now, and it's <laughs> going to finish at 1.52. How beautiful is that? So give it a go. Tell me what you think. Put your comments in the bottom, and we'll go from there. Guys, if you like what I'm doing, give me some thumbs up. Any thumbs up would be great. If you don't like what I'm doing, tell me. Criticism. All right, guys. Thanks so much. We'll see you next time.